Welcome. In front of me is a Poco M3, and today I'll show you how to record your screen on this device. So to get started, pull down the notification panel, expand it, and find the recorder, which is right over here, this little camera icon. And from here, when you hold it, it will take you to the place where basically all the recordings are stored, but you can also go to the settings from here and change a couple settings. So we have resolution, uh, which is set to be 1920 by 8, uh, 880. Uh, we can drop it down for some reason, uh, but apparently this is the highest it goes. Um, which is kind of weird considering this resolution is 720p actually, and this is supposed to be 1080. Um, maybe that's just a bug. Um, so yeah, uh, so you can change the resolution right here. Then we have video quality. And as you can see, you have several qualities here, uh, but honestly, I would advise you to keep it at least at 16 and probably not think about dropping it in anywhere lower, especially if you're planning to record gameplays. Uh, I would suggest you to go for like 32 uh, or above, uh, depending on how much space you want to dedicate for it. Uh, if you're planning to record some kind of like just a screen recording with, I don't know, some app or how to do something, uh, where there is not much movement then sure you can drop it uh, probably to 8 uh, megabits uh, but the, the degradation of quality will be visible whenever you're kind of scrolling through pages it will become extremely pixelated and then regain that quality uh, when it's sitting still for a second then we also have the orientation i would probably keep it as it is auto unless you want to lock it to a specific orientation um, sound source so here we have the different sound sources. Now we can only choose one. Uh, we don't have an ability to have both of them, so we can mute it and not have any kind of sound in the recording. We can choose our mic or the uh, sound system or the sound system sound, which will include if, for instance, you're playing a game, uh, that will include the uh, sound that the game uh, gives off. Uh, but you cannot have both of them. And now I guess you could kind of work or work around it by selecting mic and just basically maxing out the volume uh, to the point that the microphone will be picking up the speaker of it um, but the quality of that uh, audio won't be anything great so I would probably discourage you from doing that and then at the bottom we have frame rate uh, probably go for 30 sadly there is no 60 uh, so 30 is the best you can get uh, now, contrary to what everybody says that 24 is a cinema cinematic experience, this is not pre-rendered, so it won't be the same as movie uh, movie quality um, in terms of how it looks like. It will be more choppy and uh, less enjoyable. So go for 30, uh, the highest you can go. And then uh, we have a couple additional uh, just toggles, so like screen to end, uh, show touch gestures, uh, visualize navigation buttons, and so on. Uh, so you can read exactly what they do and enable them if you want it, and if you don't, just keep them off. And that's about it. So from here we can leave it, and then go back to the toggle, tap on it, and it will automatically start recording as you can see. And whatever I will do right now will be recorded. Now once you're done, you can tap on it. Now this little overlay right here that I can move around is not visible in the recording, so you can move it around just out of your way, but you don't have to worry that it's going to block something uh, from view. Now once it's finished, uh, once you tap on, tap on the square right there to stop recording, it's going to automatically save it. And then, like I said, the recording can be found in the application itself. When you hold it, it will take you to the storage. And from here you have the app. Will automatically start let me just mute that so there we go as you can see this is basically everything I was doing and there wasn't much but good enough to showcase this so yeah uh, if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching